Hello everyone. It's um, Sunday afternoon. It looks um, like the light is going. So um, I've been procrastinating. <laughs> so here I am. Okay, so I wanted to show you today the galvanized... Um, there we go, there's the light. I want to show you the galvanized wool pots that I designed a while back. Um, so with my years of, of experience, I know a few things about pots and a few things that people get wrong or, like a, you know, they don't get right. Um, one of the things you need to remember when you plant um, on a wall is that um, you need to allow for enough soil space. Most wall planters don't allow for enough soil space. Um, so... Um, so I had these made by my wonderful um, connection that's been making um, galvanized products for me for years. And um, yeah, so, um, so we made a few different styles. We made them round. Uh, we made them half. We made them in three different sizes. I think that's 40 centimeter, 30 centimeter, no. Oh, I'll have to check, but okay, something like that, and I think this is 20, does it look like it could be 20, and um, these are just a different design, which I thought would be quite cool, I don't know why the light does that, but um, yeah, I just thought I, I don't want to pass this opportunity up to, to show you, so, um, oh my word, no, I can't get it back. So yeah, so uh, wall planters. There are a few things to know about wall planters. You need to allow enough space. That's why I designed them so all of this area can be filled with soil, which is bigger than, than most opportunities. Then um, the other thing that you can do um, to promote the growth is um, to add um, something to the soil which helps the water to to stay. Um, like vermiculite, I think, is one of the things. You get something that's like that uh, gel stuff that you get in baby nappies that you can mix um, that you can mix with with the soil. It just helps the the soil to retain the water. Um, and these things are very multifunctional. You can use them to if you put them close by your kitchen area. You can have your um, herbs and things growing in them, so it's nice and handy. Just remember, herbs need sun. Um, as do, well, I guess most things, but um, full sun is needed for, for most herbs. Also, um, you can do a nice, interesting succulent planting. Um, there are some succulents that do okay in, in um, sort of shaded areas, so if the wall is not 100% sun, that's also good. Just remember that if it's a really um, full sun area, then the soil does dry out quickly. Um, and you do need to keep these things watered. So, um, yeah, so that's, I guess it's a very, <laughs> it's a obvious thing, but um, people seem to forget that. So, um, the Galvanized is, is, a, is one of my favorite products. It is cheap. Um, we can make almost any size, um, almost any shape. Um, we can do custom designs. Um, I actually went to a factory the other day and I saw um, s sort of similar things which, uh, you know, obviously these, these I had designed. I launched this at, was it Decorex, two years ago. Um, so since I saw uh, a few similar things at, um, at a, another factory, um, they were made in fiberglass and they were very expensive. Um, these um, items, let me see if I can still see the price, oh my word, this is a sad situation. Um, so you're looking at around sort of 350 for that big one and then obviously small, you know, less money for everything smaller. Um, and you'd be looking, I think, well I have to check, but like 800 Rand or something for, you know, other alternatives that I know of. So, um, yeah, so I don't know. Let's see how this little Sunday afternoon video went. <laughs> Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.